Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Spiffing Brit, and today you join me in Skyrim? This isn't Skyrim, this is Mountain Blade. But wait, ladies and gentlemen, before you click off, this is actually, in fact, Skyrim. We are indeed playing the greatest game to ever be created. However, Skyrim, as all of us know, was created by the legendary god genius known as Todd Howard. Todd Howard is amazing and cannot create anything which isn't 5,000% perfect. When it came to Skyrim, however, due to evil budget constraints and the annoyances of mere mortal game developers, Todd Howard wasn't allowed to release his creative genius to the extent he wanted. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be playing the true version of Skyrim. Many will say my version of Skyrim is broken, full of exploits, glitches, and complete and utter imbalances, but no! This is simply the version that Todd Howard wanted and dreamed of. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let us dive into the world of Skyrim together. Oh my, it's gonna be fantastic. Already, if you spot a mod, hop down into the description. Tell me if you see anything which you think uh, shouldn't really be in the game. Anyway, we need to uh, quickly design our hero. And you know what, I think we should go for just a pretty normal looking Nord bloke, yeah. We want someone quite inconspicuous who won't stand out too much because there's one thing I know about Todd, he doesn't like chads who stand out. So let's make a nice, simple looking human. You know what, I think we've created a pretty inconspicuous looking human. I mean, he's beautiful, just look at him. His head is perfect, but we need a name for him and of course, this is going to be Benny Big Boy, the Triple B Mega Man. I'm just, look at how powerful he is. His neck physically, oh my god, it just beeps out like a laser. Wow, so I see that's how Benny Big Boy defeats his opponents. He uses his laser neck powers to sever them in half. What a guy it has him. Does he have a tail? Okay, I'm not going to ask any questions. That's fine. This is Skyrim. Just normal looking Skyrim. Anyway, Benny Big Boy, he's going to have a fantastical journey in Skyrim with our assistants. A very long journey, a full adventure. I can't wait to see what happens. So you know what? Let's go for ooh, the vanilla start of the game. That's right, because the vanilla start of Skyrim was very similar to what Todd Howard wanted. He wanted the character to be a prisoner. He wanted them to be caught and get sent off for an execution and then there's a bit of drama. Will they survive the execution? Won't they survive the execution? Who knows? So let's go for that. The normal Skyrim vanilla experience. Let's uh, let's see what Todd Howard has in store for us today. Our Bethesda Game Studios. Oh, so nostalgic. Presents? Oh, what are they presenting to me? Oh, the graphics, they're loading in. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. You've got Hadvar. Is it Hadvar? Hadvar's over there. It's Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Oh, exactly as I remember it. Exactly as I remember it. Wow. It all comes flooding back. What a beautiful game. You know, they took some very big creative leaps when it came to designing the whole landscape of Skyrim. I mean, for example, the whole fact that they went into so much detail with the wildlife. It was amazing. It's beautiful. What a beautiful game. Can't wait to see what else Todd Howard has in store for us. Yes, you see this segment of the game which we find ourselves currently in, this is actually a based off of Todd Howard's early years. See, Todd Howard has always been quite a relatively smallish person, so these arms kind of represent him reaching out trying to grab the success. And of course, as we know, Todd Howard, he managed to grab success. Oh, he grabbed so much success. Oh, and they look even better, the massive Play-Doh arms when given a good bit of sunlight. Wow, look at these beautiful landscapes. They're amazing. Took an art department of Bethesda seven years to create graphics this beautiful. Oh, this is a classic situation. The thief decides to try and run away. What a poor guy. However, he never makes it. He always gets hit by that archer over there. So yeah, this Loki bloke here, he's gonna try and run away as he's not a rebel. So, no, he never really seems to get away. So let's give him a bit of a helping hand. There we go. We've shrunk him down to 0.1 his original size. Go, Loki, go! Look at how fast he goes. And you know what? I think he's made it. We sadly can't see because there's a massive hand tree in the way, but I like to imagine that we're going to see him later down the line and he's going to be greeting us with a smile on his face. Oh my goodness, how second, what was that? Was that a train whistle? Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest threat Skyrim might ever receive. Is it the Thomas the Tank Engine mod? Oh, I can't wait to see it with my own eyes. Benny Big Boy also can't wait to see it with his eyes. He has huge eyes hidden away between his massive face, but goodness, he can't wait to use his eyes to see Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh no, the headsman's going to cut off someone's head. Wow, devastating. However, remember he only gets to cut off one head because he's so terrible he can't even do his job whilst Thomas the Tank Engine is attacking. All right, so down to the block we go. Hello there, Mr. Execution Man. Sadly, you won't be getting me this time. I'm going to be deus ex machina away from here. Serves you right for not drinking enough Yorkshire tea, headsman. See, here comes Thomas now. Huzzah, I'm safe. Wait, hang a second. 
Hang on a second. No. No. <laughs> no, headsman, no. <laughs> Please. Oh, God. What did you... I can't see, headsman. You cut off my head. What's happened to me? What has happened to me, headsman? What have you done? Oh, God, Thomas. What are you doing, Thomas? You're not meant to burn people, Thomas. You're meant to bring balance to the island, not destroy it. Get over here, Hamming. Your father's gone. <laughs> Thomas, no. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, this is, oh, this is terrifying. You know what's more scary than just one Thomas the Tank Engine? I'm thinking, like, much larger Thomas the Tank Engines. Oh, my lord, look at him. He's so big. <laughs> what has he done to the archer? Okay, this game's working fine. Don't worry. Don't, don't ask any questions. Oh, my goodness, look at him. He's, he's terrifying. He's so fast as well. <laughs> Oh, this game. Oh my goodness, Thomas, no! He just flung that corpse across out of the entire realm. That's fine. Anyway, you know what? We're gonna side with the Imperials. Uh, can I... Hadvar, can I see my face, please, Hadvar? Hadvar, please, what's happened to Benny's beautiful face? Hadvar, what's happened to my face, Hadvar? Hadvar, what have you done to beautiful Benny and his fantastic... Hadvar! Oh, Hadvar. This is the end for you. Hadvar? I can't live without my face. I'm so sorry. But it's time for me to go, and I can't believe you let them take my face away. Oh, oh no, I'm having a heart attack. Right, that's it, Hadvar. It's the last you'll see of me, and it serves you right for cutting off my head. I will have my revenge one day. But for now, Benny is dead. And a new hero is necessary. What do you mean? Have you brought him back? Just let him die, Hadvar. Right, you know what? We're gonna make a new character, one which Hadvar can't spoil, and hopefully one which won't be getting beheaded. Now, you know what? We can pick normal race is, but I think we go for something completely different. You know, that's why I think we should go for a dog mirror instead of an actual normal race. Yes, we don't want to be playing as humans. No, no, no. Instead, we want to be playing as the fursona of Todd Howard, who just so happens to be a luminous pink dog. So let's finish and name our character the luminous pink fantastic dog, which is also an embodiment of the fursona of Todd Howard. And as of course we know, Todd Howard wouldn't want to be recognized by the normal person if he was masquerading as an RP fursona of himself. So instead, he would probably go by the name of Howard Todds. He would probably say that Howard Todds is actually just a accountant from Delaware looking for a bit of something to spice up his life. Speaking of spicing up someone's life, it's heart attack time. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> but of course, if this happens to you, make sure to take your heart attack medication. Otherwise, you will die. Fantastic stuff. Anyway, we need to choose the life of the fantastic Howard Todds. Where will our new life begin? You know what? Let's go for surprise me. I don't know where we're going to end up, and that's part of the joy of Howard Todd's. You never quite know where you're going to end up. Where's this? We're in Dawnguard? We have a crossbow and some steel bolts? Are we a vampire hunter? Amazing! It looks like we're some kind of vampire hunter. I do find it a little bit weird that everyone kind of looks up to Hot Towered. I mean, to be fair, you might have to as well if a massive dog with a giant crossbow came and said hello to you. Ah, oh, we're finally out inside the fantastic real world with the glorious Fort Dawn. Guard. It's a beautiful place. Look at it. It's apparently we're some kind of vampire hunter, so how about we go hunt some vampires? Excuse me there. Are you a vampire? Yep, you could be indeed a vampire, but there's only one way to know. And that's, I'm afraid, to sadly defeat you. There you go. You can't be trusted. Everyone could be a vampire. Oh, goodness. Sadly, Howard Todd's does not want to do that. Apparently, that's a surefire way to just die instantly. So maybe that person wasn't, in fact, a vampire. You know what? Skyrim is a beautiful place. Kind of the way the wildlife blends in seamlessly to this beautiful landscape and you can just get lost looking at fantastic waterfalls and amazing god rays as they flow through the trees. It's a fantastically beautiful game. Well done, Todd. Well done. Now we find ourselves exiting from the Dawnguard area. We probably should make our way over to a nice, lovely, beautiful town. We're close to Riften, so I think we'll head on nearby to Riften and see what's happening over there. Oh, appears to be a group of strangers ahead of us and we just got attacked by something. Wolves! Luckily we have a weapon for this. Come on, Hot Towers. Well done. That's three wolves down. Oh my goodness, well done, Hot Towers. That'll show you for not deciding to be a seven foot tall massive monster dog. But I am still very curious about this parade of men we appear to have in front of us. What on earth is going on here? Hello? Imperial soldiers? What imperial business is happening here? Just a random Stormcloak soldier. You know what? We'll free him. There you go. He can have fun. Right. What are you doing, imperial soldiers? You only have bare fists and no clothes. 
Do you have clothes? Do you have anything? Only four chicken breasts. <laughs> Thank you, Imperial Soldier. You know what? It's a good start. We've managed to free a bandit and send them off into the wider world so they can join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Feels like a great start for Hot Towered. Hang on a second. I was just told be careful by this chicken down here who happens to be a Riften guard. Dragon pickpocket? <sighs> oh my god. Goodness, sorry, what is happening here? And naturally, even though we've just made it to Riften, instead of going in there, we're going to make our way over to the fantastic place that is Whiterun. That's right, the place where everyone goes when you start the game. So we're going to hop into the back of the carriage, load on in with our massive head, and make our way over to Whiterun. I imagine this is going to look rather similar to what I imagine Elder Scrolls 6 to look like. I mean, you've got the whole actual birds in the skies, you've got a massive moon going on over there. That's beautiful. You've got a beautiful wild landscape. Oh, and of course, what's this? A motorbike? Okay. Dog away! Oh my goodness, it works. And you can kind of bounce it. Oh my goodness. It's a fully working motorbike. And let's help these people with their massive giant issue. Everyone knows the best way to deal with a giant is to ride a motorbike. Now that my job of giant slaying is out the way, I think it's time I head into White Run itself and greet a couple of the locals. I think, what did I just hit on the road? What the heck is this? What is... What is this? Hear me, have a gherkin. I lost a gherkin, apparently. I'd like you to change outfits. <gasps> oh my goodness, he's got a little hat on. Okay, right, this is our brand new follower companion, Meat. That seems fine. Ah, oh, and here's the white run gates are unguarded. Fantastic, let's waltz right in there. Oh, has it? Is that Nazim up there? Okay, that's an odd position for Nazim. That's fine. Hello, white run guards. Good, perfectly normal white run guards. Who's this? Hello, Nazim. Okay, I thought I just saw you back there. That's fine. And, oh. Hang on, who's, who's this? It's Nazim. Nazim, you um, you look a bit different, Nazim. And who's this? This is also, it's also Nazim. Okay, right. I won't ask any questions about these Nazims then. Who's this up here? Is that, is that genuinely, hang on a second. Hang on a second, it's Nazim again. And there's another Nazim over here. What is this game? And where is the Yala? Am I just able to sit down on the throne? Yes, yes I can. Right, I guess this is Howard Todd's canon now. He's the Yarl. Oh, and um, who's this helping you out, Farron girl? It's Nazim, of course it is. You know, whilst we're here, we're just gonna do the classic Skyrim. Um, I'm short on cash, so I'm just gonna grab your crystal, bring it around here, and don't ask any questions as to where the crystal went. That's a mighty nice poison you have there, worth 162 gold. Don't mind me or where it's going. So, poison, come here. Good poison, well behaved. La 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 la, nothing happened. If only there was a way to actually overpower everyone in this game. Now, one thing I often get asked when I play Skyrim is that, well, just how easy is it to just milk money from the AI? Like, surely you can no clip out of bounds, but obviously it must be quite a tricky thing to do. Well, actually, not really. All you have to do is quite simply secure yourself a bucket with a handle, and then you can have all the money this entire game has to offer. So, for example, if you want to access all of the inventories of traders inside Whiterun, unlike in Dragon's Reach, where in the fantastic adventures of Riano Keeves, we showed you where the trader chest was. When it comes to White Run, they are simply all in there, provided you haven't entered the city. But of course, how do you enter the city? Well, the best way is to get a bucket. Now, there are buckets like this littered all over Skyrim, but they're very unique because buckets, for some reason in this game, obey to a rather strange form of physics, provided you can get them upright, that is. Now, when you manage to get your bucket down on the floor, congratulations, because now you're in a perfect opportunity to fly fly over the walls of White Run. So you want to simply stand on your bucket and then just grab the bucket and then and then job done. You've managed to fall for a bucket. You should feel good with yourself. Whilst bucket flying is a natural strategy in this game, I don't particularly recommend it. Instead, all you need to do is, is do a couple of bunny hops and hop over the wall. And then once you manage to get up and over the wall, you find yourself in a pretty funky looking White Run, which you can fall down into and be warned, you can fall through the floor. But as you can see, White Run as a whole is technically still kind of there. I realise I've managed to kind of achieve almost effectively nothing at this point because I've forgotten that all of the vendor's inventories actually only load in once you load into the game. So basically what you would do is provided you've made it inside White Run, you can kind of glitch your way around the back of the smeltery here and around here underneath the forge is a great big chest containing a very large supply of high level weapons. Alternatively you can just enjoy the beautiful way that White Run was meant to look and also the only way it could look if you wanted the game to run on a console. My goodness, I've no idea how they managed to do it. So I've managed to make my way to Helgen, and uh, Helgen's looking pretty wacky. Doesn't particularly look that fun for me, so I'm gonna dodge Helgen for now. Not particularly my cup of tea, that place. However, what on... Hang on a second. That's a Minecraft zombie. Just a dead 
Mind zombie. Wow, what's... Well, hang on a second. Is that a Minecraft house? Oh, you didn't, did you, Todd Howard? You added Minecraft, my favourite game from 2011, into Skyrim, my other favourite game from 2011. Wow, what a what an experience. Let's go take a look in Steve's house. Oh, here it is. It's Steve Craft and Mind Dog, my two favourite players of the Minecraft. Wow, including villagers. Wow, and miner cake. <laughs> cake made of miners? Oh no, that's cannibalism. Oh my goodness, is that a dead creeper on the floor? Oh, it's a dead creeper. Steve, have you, have you slain all of the mobs? Steve has slain all the mobs. And I can ride Steve's mine pig. Of course you can. Mine pig away. Come on, mine pig. You're not as fast as a motorcycle, which is relatively disappointing. Oh my goodness, hang a second. What's this, a potion just called suicide? <gasps> that sounds very effective. Yes, let's see about this lovely suicide looking potion. What does it say it does? What does it claim to do? Creates hovering. I can't read that. That's too small. Right, let's just. There's only one way to find out. Consume. Oh my goodness. What is Skyrim? Todd, is this is this gameplay? Nazim, I'm so sorry, Nazim. Nazim's gone. It's, it's Anoraf. Oh my goodness, you're being defeated by a massive shadow wolf who comes from a dog. Right, come upstairs. Let me upstairs, meat. Meat, I can't get up the stairs. <laughs> this poor man thinking, what have I walked in on? Oh, it's just Nazim. That's who it is. Sorry, Nazim. Nazim, what? <laughs> Nazim. <laughs> Nazim has gone into fully, fully composed, erect stance. Okay, Nazim. Oh, I think the drunken huntsman is done for. I'm a little bit trapped in here. Hey Todd, look, I know I said some bad things about your game, but can you turn me back from being an invisible glowing werewolf monster for a moment? Let me leave. That would be fun, Tom. That would be fun, Todd, please. Alright, there we go. Fantastic. I think I'm back to normal. Am I allowed to exit through doors now? Nope, still not allowed to leave yet. Yes, I'm kind of actually completely stuck because I can't interact with any object. Hot Todd, what have you done? Are you another failed experiment of mine? Ah, oh, I can't believe it. We've had so many. Anyway, if you've been enjoying this absolute wacky chaos that has been Skyrim. Feel free to give the video a like because my goodness for each like that this video receives another mod can be mounted. I don't know that seems fine. I mean I've only mounted what almost a hundred at the moment so provided no more than a hundred of you like the video we should all be fine. Right Skyrim can it end now? Skyrim please can I leave? No I can't leave. Why don't you let me leave Skyrim? You know I think there's genuinely only one way out of it and I'm afraid it's heart attack time. Sorry doggy I'm afraid you must go down. <laughs> <laughs> that's a success. Oh, what a journey. What an absolute journey it's been. All right, that's the last time I drink random unknown potions off of strangers. My goodness, I love Skyrim. What a beautiful game. But you know what would make it even better? Oh, the return of someone special. The return of someone special indeed. Like, I don't know. What about Rihanna Keeves himself? <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, he's back for one episode and one episode only in our brand new Skyrim Absolute Mess of a Wonderland. Now, be warned, um, Rihanna Keeves, he's gone through a couple of changes, he's aged a little bit, uh... But of course, he's still very breathtaking indeed. He's beautiful, in fact, very beautiful. He's actually now settled down and bought a lovely little property in the beautiful city of Solitude. Oh, hang a second. Oh no, he's having a heart attack. Oh no, don't worry, we're prepared for this. Just pop your heart attack meds. There you go. Oh, he's a little bit older now, but don't worry. He's still motoring through life very successfully. So, Rihanna Keeves, let's go see what the world has in store for you. As you know what, you are the most powerful being ever to exist in this world. So what does the world have to offer you. My oh my, look at this beautiful day. Oh, fantastic bit of sunshine. You can see for miles. Oh my, what a beautiful city Solitude is. Very beautiful. What's this? Oh, a Solitude Guard. I wonder if we can use our blaster pistol on him. Now, you might be wondering, hang on a second, why has Rihanna Keeves suddenly managed to get a Warhammer 40k blaster pistol? Don't ask any questions, ladies and gentlemen. It just happens. Actually, not. maybe we could have some people come help us. Yes, you know what? Let's go summon some people with our fantastical new power of physical magnetism. Now due to Rihanna Q's immense power he is actually able to summon almost any biological being nearby him as you can see right there but it's also very useful when it comes to getting a group of men together. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. It's it's the Avengers. Oh my goodness. It's Hulk. What a lovely guy. And you've got Iron Man and oh my goodness Hawkeye. <gasps> Let's not even forget legendary Captain Skyrim. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, this is beautiful. As much as I'd love to get the adventurers to follow me, there's a limited amount that you can have in your Skyrim party size, so um, we're just gonna have to summon all of them and uh, drag them with us like so. Come on, Skyrim adventurers, we have a world to save. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh no, we've accidentally collected all of Solitude. Go, Riano Keeves. Let's go. Let's leave this place for now. Oh no, the Solitude guards are hostile. Hang on a second, this makes no sense. I've done nothing wrong. Okay, right, I'm afraid I have to use my blaster pistol on you. Please understand, I did not want to have to do this, but you've left me no choice. Oh god, Riano Keeves, he's getting shot at. It looks like I'm going to have to eat some green apples. Let's norm on these. That's one guard down. Let's go deal with the guard with a gun. Oh, I say gun, he has a bow and arrow. No! Riano, no! Oh, goodness. Right, that's it. I've now brought Riano back, and I've actually put his equipment on him now. He's fantastically, completely, perfectly balanced rings. I'm sorry, Solitude Guards, but uh, you just can't damage me anymore. You know, the blaster pistol is quite useful, but I'll tell you what's even better. A bolter as well as a blaster. Oh, yes. Now that's power. Right, shout time. There we go. <laughs> I think I've accidentally just paralyzed everyone. Shout time. <laughs> <laughs> that poor chicken. Oh, wait, chicken? Chicken? Uh, no, Solitude Guard chicken, what's happening? Uh, you know, that's that's fine, chicken. Chicken. Oh, no, no, no. What? <laughs> this is a heart attack. You can't kill me. All right, you have the heart attack meds. I mean, to be fair, I think most people would have a heart attack if they just saw a chicken do that in front of them. Anyway, Solitude Guard, you can stand back up, good friend. Although I am afraid I do need to defeat you. You know what Rihanna Keeves can also do to get out of every single sticky situation he finds himself in? A web swing, like so. Go, web swing, go. <laughs> Works flawlessly. Oh no, no, Riano, are you okay? Oh no, he, he does not appear to be. He appears to be having some kind of episode on the floor. Oh no, I've done least just not had his cup of tea today. Oh, but it turns out there is a way of defeating a guard. Hello there, chicken guard. Die, chicken guard. <laughs> No. Yeah, this is what happens when I don't drink enough tea. It's the exact same thing happens to me. I've also made the shouts of Riano Keeves that much more powerful. For example, to demonstrate this ability, we're going to need to find a lovely, willing solitude guard. Here we go, here's a lovely, willing test subject. Oh my goodness, away he goes. It just kind of <laughs> Oh my goodness. Does it work on horses too? No, horses seem quite resistant. What about you, lovely lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is too entertaining. Oh, goodbye. Yep, just as Todd Howard intended. Honestly, Riano Keeves and Todd Howard, they kind of blend into the same person a little bit. Fly, good sir. And there we go. He's gone all the way to Sovereign Guard. <laughs> what? Goat? Goat, are you okay, goat? <laughs> I've just got the epic battle music playing in the background and just... Goat! Goat! <laughs> Goodbye, goat. <laughs> oh, this game. Oh, it's too good. It really is. Oh, my goodness. Who's this little guy? <gasps> is that a mud crab with a top hat and monocle? <gasps> my, oh, my. I've never seen such a lovely little spiffy companion. That's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Look at how beautiful he is. We're going to be the bestest of friends, you and I. Oh, you know what? I'll deal with the guard over there who's watching us and our beautiful relationship prosper. Sorry, guard. It's time for you to leave us. Okay, that's one down. Oh, little mud crab friend. You are so much fun. All right, I'm sorry, Mr. Mud Crab, but I must incapacitate you temporarily. There we go. In a less than lethal way, I think I've tased you. Well, he's not looking too happy. Oh, oh. Mr. Mud Crab, no. We were, we, you, we had such a brilliant future ahead of each other. Oh, he's dead. Oh. That's just a real shame. Massive F in chat for Mr. Mudcrab. We could have had such a brilliant, wacky offshoot of the Fantastic Skyrim law cannon. No, it was not to be. Instead, we accidentally incapacitated him with our amazing taser fists. Oh, well. You know what? We haven't actually done much exploring of Todd Howard's beautiful, fantastic creation. So, you know what? I think maybe we should just launch ourselves down the nearest cave we can find and see what awaits us. <gasps> Who is this? Is this just a random doggy standing by the side of the road? Hello there, doggy. Doggy? Miko? Who the heck are you? A fantastic lovely little dog companion. Where are you taking me, Miko? Are you going to show me your fantastic home full of happy owners? Let's go see your beautiful home. Oh, it's a dead person, Miko. Thank you for sharing that with the class, Miko. <laughs> so sorry, Miko. Can we be friends now? Please, Miko, don't. Don't look at me like that. I regret my actions. Oh, God. <laughs> Hello, is that another little mud crab friend? It is! <gasps> mud crab isn't dead. You don't need to F in chat for mud crabbo because he's back. Oh, and he's as snippy as ever. Stop snipping. 
Oh god, we need another mud crab friend, don't we now? Anyway, do you guys want to see something terrifying and scary? I'll show it to you, but it's uh, it's gonna cost you. Right, take off all your clothes, Rihanna. I'm gonna show the lovely ladies and gentlemen at home something terrifying, but uh, it's gonna it's gonna cost them a lot. I mean, we're talking years off of your lifespan, and phew, probably even something crazy like I don't know, fifteen thousand likes on this video. Oh, you can do that. I'm about to blow your socks off with something horrific. Anyway, let's set this up as if it's art because uh, it's going to be. There we go. Like so, looks perfect and I think we're ready for it. Right, here we are, fantastic. We've made our way inside the beautiful character creator. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a secret I want to show you in this beautiful thing. That's the beautiful expression section of the Skyrim character creator. You know, we can make Rihanna Keeves look in whatever way we like. For example, we can show off a little bit of anger. Ooh, that's a good bit of anger. When I get angry, I too fold my eyebrows over my eyelids. However, even better, we can get him to do a nice cheeky little wink. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> oh, I find you breathtaking. Oh, yes. Allow me to demonstrate just how wide Todd decided you could make someone's mouth in Skyrim. So we're going to go for ramping up the combat shout, which is already pretty far. And then we're going to increase R up to maximum. Raise R to level three. Big R. And there you have it. The most open you could make someone's mouth. <laughs> now, I'm terribly sorry. Um, this is, if there is anyone watching who's been in any way affected by what they've seen in today's video, please make sure to reach out by going down to the comment section and sending a letter to the Spiffco customer service team where we 100% promise to take all of your complaints, read them over and then burn them in a fire and make no action upon them. My goodness, Rihanna Keeves, isn't he beautiful? Anyway, you know what? That's Rihanna Keeves' journey just starting. My goodness. You know what? We could bring him back. We really could. He's powerfully strong and trust me, absolutely nothing can defeat him. So I suppose if the people wanted, we could bring Rihanna Keeves back for one extra episode of Sky. Room. If, anyway, for the time being, it appears we've stumbled upon a sorcerer man. Okay, look, we've been over this before. You just, you just can't really do anything, I'm afraid. <laughs> If anything, you're giving him more power. Okay, right. As soon as you brought a weapon out, that's that's when you cross the line. I'm terribly sorry. I'm going to have to bring out some weapons just for you, good sir. I'm thinking, what about this fantastic Death Watch Thunderhammer? Go! Oh my, it's a little bit more powerful than I was expecting. Wow, Riano, there really is no way to defeat you. You are exceedingly powerful and even more so handsome. Look at this incredible ripped body. <laughs> my goodness. And those incredibly powerful lips which have the ability to consume 20 thousand liters of tea per second that's right ladies and gentlemen not just any tea the refreshing tea of yorkshire tea gold that's right we're back and we're 100 percent still not sponsored but that won't stop me from shilling out to enjoy a good bit of the greatest tea in the entire universe it gives you power and it removes powers from your enemies also known as the coffee drinkers to the point where you become somewhat of a god of space and time like rihanna keeves is here is that a wolf chasing some kind of moose i think we can help out with this. Let's use our powers to save the day. Oh no, we're having a heart attack. <laughs> Goodness, this always happens at completely the wrong time. Right, we're back on our feet. I'm sorry, Wolfie. There we go. Another innocent civilian saved. Well done, Rihanna Keeves. There you go. Hello, Moose. Allow me to be the first one to say congratulations. Here, look, I'll say it myself. Go! <laughs> Ah, oh, ragdolls. Todd Howard, you really got them to work well. Oh, we've encountered the robber's gorge, filled with bandits. Hello there, bandits. Never should have come here. Well, I'm afraid. Uh, boop, I can say the same to you. That's a nice wooden structure you have set up here. Would be a shame if someone were to just, you know, shout at it. Okay, shouting does nothing on the structures. Hello there, bandits. Oh, you're gone. Hello there, archer. You're gone. <laughs> you're gone really far. Wow, my goodness. Oh, le oh my god. Goodness, that was a bit devastating there, Rihanna. Well done. Let's do the same here. Come on and slap. Oh my, okay. It's a hammer, not a sword, so I don't know if you can do that, but that was very good. Well done there. All right, there you go, bandit. Oh, oh my, okay, that's another fantastic decapitation via massive hammer. And one for you too, Mr. Bandit Chief. Sorry, Mr. Bandit Chief. Oh, <laughs> it's just... It's so it's so powerful. No one has heads anymore. They don't need heads, okay? We have Riano Keeves. He has no need for people to keep their heads. But anyway, we saved the day and cleaned up a bit of the world. Well done, Riano. Ever the hero. With his massive, mighty imperial hammer. Crabber's shanty discovered. I see, so this is a fisherman. 
who's capturing mud crabs? I mean, sure they look happy and fun here, but um, I'm pretty sure you've killed all of them. Why are you killing all of the mud crabs, fisherman? Look at how spiffy they are. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. But you've brought this on yourself. You should not have done that to my beautiful friends. You very bad person. Some people, I can't believe it. Why would you eat the mud crabs? They're literally cute and friendly. Sure, they want to stab you and nip you and all that, but they've got cute little monocles. No one would want to do harm to that. I mean, sure, yes, we have on multiple occasions, but it's not our fault that Rihanna keeps his unlimited power and he struggles to know what his limitations are. Oh, hello there, dears. Goodbye, elks. Wow. And they've just phased out of reality. That's beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, no, no, they, they came back in. <laughs> Hang on a second. What? <laughs> That's not, that's not how physics is meant to work. Is this a horsey? Oh my goodness, I've seen an issue here. There's a massive dead mammoth and a bear. Goodbye, bear. Oh my goodness, Nazim. Like Rihanna Keeves, he basically finds himself everywhere. We're in a random place in the middle of nowhere. And yet there's, there's a Nazim here. I honestly think Nazim has similar powers to Rihanna Keeves and his ability to get just about everywhere anyway. You know, I think we've shown off enough Rihanna Keeves for one day. If you would like him back, feel free to give me a shot. I'm sure we can see what we can do about bringing back the fantastic adventures of Rihanna Keeves. But for the time being, I've been the Spiffing Brit. I've been showing off a bunch of wacky mods in Skyrim. There's so many more to show off, so if you'd like to see more, feel free to give the video a like. Please do tell me about it. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one. And hey, if you're new here and this is your first time watching a Spiffing Brit video, why not subscribe and join the community, one of the greatest and fastest growing tea consuming groups there is. As always, a massive thank you to each and every one of my majestic patrons who make these fantastic and silly videos all the more possible. Each and every one of you are fantastic. Thank you very much for your generous donation to the crown and its ever continuing journey to restore the empire. And if you're sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, then look no further than this one on screen now. Trust me, it's been handpicked by my Myself. It's gonna be an old classic. You're gonna love it if you enjoyed this one. Anyway, I've been the Spiffing Brit, and I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Goodbye for now, and have an absolutely lovely day.